Hey guys, this is Colby. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this little bridge piece between the chest plates and the back armor. It's a pretty simple piece, so I'm going to just go ahead and cover it real quick. So let's get started. So go ahead and go to front view, wherever you have your image references set up. Uh, I've already set up my image references in my previous videos. So if you haven't watched how to make the chest armor and the back armor, uh, basically I show you how to do this. Basically you just create Shift A, the image reference, and select wherever you downloaded the image. So let's go to front view. Uh, we're basically just going to be focusing on this part of the reference for the front view, for the side view. Uh, we're just going to pretty much move this right by here just so we can match the arc. So let's go ahead and press shift, uh, right click on this little point here, press shift A, mesh, let's create a cube and scale it down quite a bit. Let's match it to the reference so let's make it a bit wider on the X axis, press S, X, and then zero, or uh, not zero, but like scale it outward a bit with the mouse. I can rotate it a tad bit. Let's go to side view, move it into position. So it should be right by here, right in the center. Uh, there's a bit, bit of a difference between the two references here. So in front view, it looks a bit higher than it does in side view. In this case, just do your best to match it. Uh, you don't have to do it perfectly. Just you know, have a good balance between the two heights, uh, between the two references. So now let's go into edit mode on the cube. And let's go ahead and create a pretty much like a mesh. Uh, we're going to extrude this way first. So you don't have to actually extrude, you can just move this face in face mode and grab it and move it forward right about here. Move this point up a bit and then press E to extrude and move it to the back. Let's go to front view and just kind of move it down a tad bit. So right now it's very angular, uh, but that's fine. We're just keeping things a little poly. Let's now add an edge loop right here. Press Control R, left click twice. Do the same here. Control R, left click twice. Hold down Shift and Alt, select both of these edges here in edge mode. And move them up a bit. And that'll create a curve for us. It already looks pretty nice. So now go ahead and add a subdivision modifier. And let's go back into edit mode and add some edge loops right here and here. So that way we can sharpen it up a bit. Do the same on the ends here. As well as like right by on these sides as well. So it's good. You can go back into object mode, right click, shade smooth. It's so now we're going to add basically just some little pieces on top of this piece. So I'm going to press shift and right click on the point of the mesh here. Red mesh cube. Scale down a bit. Just kind of move it a bit upward. Scale it on the x axis, make it a bit longer. Now you can just add a bevel modifier to this cube just to make it a bit more curved. So add a modifier, bevel. You can turn up to the segments as much as you want to. I think maybe two or three is good enough. And basically what we're going to do is duplicate this cube and move it on this side and on this side as well. Uh, we're just going to create a bunch of the same cubes. So press Shift D to duplicate. Move it right back here, match the curve. And just keep doing this for the same process of the entire piece. We're just going to keep moving it upward and downward, forward and back. Grab, let's move forward to position here, and do the same for the back. So once you have the entire piece covered with all these cubes, and they look all nice and even and straight, uh, you can basically join all these pieces together. So hold down Shift and select all of these little cubes that you've created. Press Control J to join them all together into one solid piece. It'll still retain the modifier of the bevel modifier, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're not going to join it to this mesh just yet, because basically we need to match it to the uh, mesh itself. So basically, I'm going to duplicate this whole piece. Press Shift D to duplicate. Move it pretty much to the point right here. I already have one set up, uh, basically between the front and back piece for the chest armor. Uh, but basically, that's just as an example. Once you have it on the mesh, you can edit the shape to match between the two plates. That's why we still have the modifiers still on, so we can still edit. Uh, and basically, once you're done with the editing, you can just add a mirror modifier to each of one of these pieces across the mesh here. And do the same for this little bridge piece. Add a mirror modifier and mirror across. 
right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful, and see you guys next time.